So we're going to show you now how to set up your alerter mat system when it arrives at the home. So we're just going to examine the contents of the box. So in there we've got a sensor, we've got a little square mat transmitter in the corner and then the oblong item here we refer to that as the wall unit and whichever nurse call system you're using will pop the right plug in for you so here we go we've got the main components set out here and we're just going to go straight for the mat transmitter see a couple of batteries packed in there with it and so the first thing to do is unwrap that and then you need a tiny little screwdriver which is just we've got one ready here in order that you can access the battery compartment on the transmitter which takes a couple of triple A batteries so here we go we're just going to pop the triple A batteries in the mat transmitter and then the cover back on find the four little screws, pop them back up again. So the first task once the batteries are in is to connect the little cable inside the end pouch of the pad into the plug on the transmitter and then we're just going to make sure that's in the off position. We're now going to slide the back cover off the wall receiver unit and reach for a couple of double A batteries pop there in the back. We're now going to zoom in and have a look at the pair button just inside the back cover and using either a very small screwdriver or the point of a biro pen press and hold for around three seconds and you'll see now there's a brief there we go all the lights momentarily lit up on the front of the wall unit. So we're now going to go for the square transmitter connected to the mat and pop the switch to on and then we're going to press the mat to cause an alarm and that now has registered so the first slot out of the available five is now linked to this bed pad now at this point if you have other mats to connect or a motion sensor you can simply pair them up by adding them one by one by connecting up the transmitter and pressing the pad or moving your hand in front of the motion sensor until each of these five positions is filled. If you don't <coughs> continue to pair the mat, the two beeps indicate that it is now out of pairing. So we can now test this mat by pressing it and releasing. We can now hear the alarm. Whilst the alarm is going from that recent test, you can actually reset it and silence it. Press and hold, there we go. Reset now and silenced. Before we pop the back cover on and explain how to connect it to Nurse Call, we're just going to momentarily zoom in to the different alarm modes that you have with these wall transmitters. You've got S, L and H with a little slider switch. S for silent is a good mode to use if you don't want the resident to be disturbed by the alarm in the room because you're going to be sending the signal straight to nurse call. L is a low level alarm and H is a high level alarm. Both of those are good options if you're using the wall receiver as a pager. For instance if it's going to be clipped to the nurse's or carer's belt or to be used in a nurse station. So we pop the back cover on, we put the cable and the cable safety clip in to the wall unit and it's now ready to plug into nurse call. Obviously in this environment we don't actually have nurse call but this particular cable is actually specific uh, to each nurse call system and it's the only difference really between every wall unit supplied. So this one here is for a mono system or intercall which is very common and we simply pop that into nurse call the system will obviously alarm put it into where the call button goes and the system will alarm just silence that 
And then the only other thing to remember when this is in use is carry out a brief test by pressing the pad. Okay. And in this case, we can hear the alarm, and that will actually be sending a little signal through the cable into nurse call, which will also be alarming the system. Always remember to silence the wall receiver first before you cancel the nurse call system alarm. So we're just going to silence that now. There we go. So we silence that first and then nurse call. And the main reason for that is if you don't silence the wall unit first, if you do it the other way around, if you silence the alarm system first, the pad will continue to alarm and you'll leave the room and it will trigger nurse call all over again. So the last thing to do is to pop the little transmitter inside the pouch and secure it up and carefully place the pad where it's to be used, whether it's on a bed, on a mattress, underneath a pillow or underneath the torso section or whether it's a seat pad and you're placing it within or underneath a chair cushion or a wheelchair cushion and if all else fails or you forget these instructions every set is sent out the full set of instructions which carries you step by step exactly through what we've just run through on this video we hope it helps <laughs>